Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here. You know, don't you? You know. Right. You've probably seen all that on social media and in newspapers and on news regarding Canelo Alvarez, Oscar De La Hoya, Dazon. Now, I don't want to say that I told you so, but... I told you so, didn't I? I told you so two years ago, more than two years ago. Ultra Tech Sports Raw told you, UCTV told you, but I was the one that kicked it all off, right? Because when you study the game and you study human moves, you get to see what people are doing. You've got to live it. You've got to look at the past histories of who that person is. Are they bothered about legacy? Are they bothered about a pound note? More than legacy. What? Where, where, are they, where are these people heading? And that's what you do, you've got to study it. And I said, do you know what? I'm not having it. I am not having it whatsoever. And we all know what's going on, don't we? You know, Eddie has overpaid everybody. And it's took his cut off the overpayment. For example, if a fighter A is getting a million dollars a fight, then all of a sudden he's getting seven million dollars. He's going to think that promoter's best thing since sliced bread. But when, but when the said promoter is getting twenty percent of that fighter's purse and twenty percent of the opponent and twenty percent of everybody else on card, and they're just ploughing through money like it's confetti. There's going to be no left at the end of the day, is there? And that's what we've got at the moment, haven't we? This virus has sorted everybody out, hasn't it? I do think that they might have survived without the virus, but it was getting silly, wasn't it, really? It was getting silly. And what are we left with now? What are we left with? Well, it looks like the American dream's over for Matchroom. What they did, though, they played a blinder, and I tip my hat to Eduardo. They had everybody fooled, except your Uncle Porky, and Ultratech, and UCTV. Everybody were fooled. I think even Frank Warren were fooled. I do, I do, because none of them said much, did they? They all kept saying, it's great for boxing, it's great for boxing. Porky is so negative. How am I negative? How am I negative? I just want what's best for the sport, and I have to pull people up on the rubbish and the crap that they come out with. And that, that's just me as a person, right? I want boxing to succeed, but when we've got people bending rules and telling lies and we've got YouTubers with access, they know what's going on, but they're not saying a word, are they? Because they don't want to damage their own brand, do they? Whereas me, I've, I've always been anti-establishment. Anti-establishment, that's me, that's just how I am. But thing is you see right I can smell bullshit a mile off I think prison does that to you because you just you think God, what are they coming out with here you meet somebody in there then when you get out they're not what they said they were in there so I smell it a mile off I go <laughs> I can smell shit bullshit and I spotted it and I want to thank all them people that have been emailing me and texting me saying Porky you was right I'm like, oh yeah, I know I was. And I've just seen some people at the petrol station this morning. And I could see, I could see in the faces when I walked over to them, they were like, oh God, he's coming over. He's coming over. And I walked straight over to them and I went, you know, don't you? And they went, Porky, you was right. They were devastated, devastated, but it's nice to get a little little victory in it. It's nice to get one on board because I'm not right about everything, am I? But they knew, didn't they? They knew it weren't going to last, but they've had it off. They've had it off. They've overpaid everybody, but they've also overpaid themselves, haven't they? And it's come back to bite them in the arse, hasn't it? So I think the match room boxing now will fold in America. They'll come back to England with the tails between their legs, and they'll get a new sky. They'll get a new sky deal. <laughs> oh my god. 
Thank you very much. I'll tell you what, somebody up there loves me this week. But getting back to uh, getting back to the Eddie Hearn situation, Dazone and all that. This is how I look at it. They'll come back to England. Well, they're already in England, aren't they now? And they'll repair the bridges with Sky. They milked it. It's gone. It's all gone belly up, tits up, whatever. It's all gone peak tong. And they'll get another deal with Sky. That's probably what's going to happen now. They're going to have to be keeping Sky sweet. But will Sky fall for it again? Well, I think they will. The reason I think they will is because it's now a cult, isn't it? There's Freemasons and there's Bean Masons. Bean. And we all know that Bean is the one that pricks your thumb. I mean, I heard Coogan nearly fainted when he had his thumb pricked when he got in inducted when, when when they made him into the bean mason cult you know I, it, it, you know a bit of blood on your thumb coogan what's all that about coogan aka sponsored by william hill the founder of ifl sponsored by william hill and debts for dads so if you get in debt with william hill it's okay they could put you in touch with a debt collecting agency go on coogan hope you're well mate but it's become a cult now hasn't it from top to bottom from from the border control all the way down to Eddie Earn to the pundits on Sky, it's like fake news, they're pushing it out. Then we've got the YouTubers, they know what's going on, but don't say a word. That's right, that's silence. If I were to text Coogan now and say, Coogan, why haven't you asked Dillian White? Why? about this thousand day thing you know we were number three a thousand days ago in wbc rankings not man not number one and definitely not mandatory he won't reply to me but if i text him and i say coogan i've heard you've been upsetting people <gasps> he'll be on phone in seconds so but he's likable and he's an hard grafter and he's a very good interviewer but he's not asking the proper questions what he should be asking he should be putting it on these people look dillian Stop it, Dillian. You were number three a thousand days ago. Stop. Let me just stop you there. Stop it. Stop with the fake news. Because I'm just going to keep going, moving forward and forward and forward. I've been at this three year in November. And I'm going to be here till uh, next November. So that'll be four year. I'm only just getting warmed up. So all them people that said, oh, I've got last two minutes. They're all wrong. But getting back to this, it's now a cult, isn't it? It's now a cult, and um, these bean masons are being controlled. It's a new world order. I mean, I'm not going to go as far as to say it's the Illuminati, but it's the, the bean masons, aren't they now? They're all products of Bean. Bean is the one. He's running the show. He's scary. I mean, if you upset Bean, you'll end up with an horse's head on your pillar. I'm telling you now, he's the scariest man I've ever met. He sent shivers through my body. So, just be careful. And remember, the next time you watch Goodfellas, remember this, that Bean is poorly out Goodfellas. Alright, so peace out.